From food and beverage to retail sectors, Crisp is an open data platform that is streamlining operations, increasing efficiency, and revolutionizing the supply chain management game with AI. Joining me now to talk more about this is Crisp founder and CEO, Are Trastal. Welcome to the New York Stock Exchange, Are. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing terrific. <laughs> <laughs> so let's first start talking about Crisp. Explain to our viewers what it does. Yeah, so when I, I was very fortunate to sell a technology company in, in New York uh, five years ago, and I took a, my family on this incredible trip around the, around the world, uh, but that's also where I had a big personal just wake-up call that mm -hmm. supply chains are uh, challenging and problematic, um, and particularly around in the food and the food waste uh, mm -hmm. side. So we saw in one, some markets, we saw kids the same age as my kids who desperately needed the food, and then in other markets, we saw food rotting in the field. We stayed at an oh, apple yeah. orchard in New Zealand, and all the apples fell on the ground at yeah. the end of the season because they didn't have enough data to yes. know if they're going to pick it or not. Mm -hmm. so, so you have a big paradox here where you have a billion people that live with some kind of food insecurities. At the same time, one third, like one third of all the food that's produced in the world yeah. actually goes to waste. So yeah. that's one of the use cases that we're trying to help, which is to streamline all of the data that flows in between all of the different uh, parties in the supply chain. And this is a massive industry. In the U.S. alone, this is a $1.3 trillion industry, actually, according mm -hmm. to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Um, so globally, I mean, I would imagine that it's trillions and trillions of more dollars. So uh, this is why do you think it's such an untapped sector that it's, it's kind of below the radar when it comes to the integration of technology? Yeah, it's true. It's uh, probably an eight to ten trillion dollar industry globally. Probably more than hundred million companies are involved um, mm -hmm. to get products through a very complex uh, supply chain. Uh -huh. um, but this industry hasn't had the technology and data innovation that many other industries uh, yeah. have had. Uh, it still used an old standard from 1973, uh, the year I was born, uh, <laughs> called EDI. And it's basically these Excel sheets that get sent over the internet. And why do you think it's, that is? Why do you think we have such a disparity, such a gap? You know, it's very complex and many companies are involved um, and th those companies have invested in incredible technologies, but the uh, data and the fuel that needs to power all of these uh, companies uh, systems uh, is, is non-existent. Mm -hmm. so, so that's kind of what we help to do. We integrate into the systems all of the large retailers. So uh, we have about $2.5 trillion of uh, spend to the retailers that we're integrated with. Then we integrate into the distributors. They are kind of the unsung heroes of this industry. They actually pr move a lot of these products around, mm -hmm. so we integrate into their systems. And now we have about 500 brands on the platforms so we integrate into their systems. So now you're starting to get a full view of data throughout the entire mm -hmm. uh, supply chain. And you know, this obviously, this impacts the everyday consumer. Many people wouldn't think that. We're, mm -hmm. we're at a time where we're seeing record high inflation numbers. Groceries are up around 8.4% uh, from a year ago. The average family is spending around $300 a month mm -hmm. additionally uh, per their regular grocery bill. And so this impacts the everyday consumer, as yes, I was saying. So absolutely. It impacts uh, on-shelf availability. And when you go to a store, how much products are you actually seeing? It impacts prices because if you have 20, 30, 40% waste through the supply chain, that needs to uh, be reflected in a consumer price mm -hmm. at the end. Uh, it impacts the waste that goes uh, to, to, to landfills, et cetera. Absolutely. Uh, product selection. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, so, we're seeing $10 cartons of eggs. Right, it's and, crazy. And it's also the product that has the highest degree of, of food waste is See? eggs. <laughs> and finally, what's next for Crisp? Well, we'll continue to grow, um, although we have incredible growth at the, at the moment. It's uh, investing in more technology. We invested 40, 50 million dollars already in just the tech underlying technology here. Wow. Um, so continue to do large R&D uh, investments. Uh, and thank God we're seeing 30, 40, 50 new customers come on the platform every month. So, yeah. uh, so just continue to grow. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. And Great. we invite you back anytime. Awesome. Thank you so much.